Ghana State Governor Aminu Belo Masari has handed over nine operational vehicles to security agencies in the state. While handing over the operational vehicles, the governor called on security personnel to use the vehicles effectively. Jamil Mabai has details. Nine locally made armored personnel carriers were produced in Kempe State at the cost of 100 million naira. Governor Masari explained that the operational vehicles would argument weapons being used by the security operatives and the war against terrorism in the state. He has said to support the operations of uh, uh, security agencies, especially in the front line, local government and those local government that are equally affected. I think with this nine, we have over 30 APCs now in Katina. Uh, I, I don't know what the military have, but uh, from what uh, the police and uh, our efforts, I'm sure we have over 30 APCs in Katina. This is the first edition of the night and the state is expecting the 10th APC to support the operation of security agencies, especially in the frontline local government areas that are equally affected. Masari assured the people that with the massive support given to security agencies, efforts to curtail security challenges in the state would be further enhanced. I think if we continue and there was a cooperation with the general public because whatever the security agencies are going to do, without the cooperation of the local population, it will be very difficult. And our biggest problem now is the connivance by informants that are giving targets. Any abduction or kidnapping inside the communities or inside towns or inside the city is the work of the informant. Because the normal kidnapping by armed bandits may be roadblock. You don't know who's coming. While lamenting over the activities of bandits' informants, the governor appealed to residents to support the state government and, and the security agencies in the fight against crime and criminality. The governor commended the military and other security agencies in the state for their prompt and speedy response to distress calls. Jamil Mubay, Trust TV News, Kasana.